So we are now doing the inside part of the album. So first of all, you don't have to add ribbon, but I'm adding, oh no, I thought that was stuck on there. I'm adding ribbon. I'm adding this tie closure. I, you don't have to add tie closures. And maybe I can move that up a little bit more. I don't think so. I measured where it was right in the middle. And I put the tape over my ribbon. Here's the middle mark. And then I just lined my tape on top of that middle mark so it's a little bit, ab it's above the middle mark. <clears throat> like I said, if you don't want the ribbon, you don't have to use the ribbon. Now for, let's see, was this it? For the inside, oh my gosh, where, which piece was it? I just cut it. Is it this one? No. No, where is it? This goes down here. I just had it. This goes here, and it's one of these. It's this one, I think. Yeah. So what we're going to be using is this black, this black pattern paper. So we want to make sure that, it court, I haven't put my pages in yet, but here's my hinge. So this would be page one. You want to make sure that it coordinates with page one. So what we're going to be doing is adding this green strip here, and that will tie it in with this page. And the, this is a good contrast to this because it's so light over here. I'm thinking of putting in a pocket. First, I'm going to get all this affixed here now that I know where everything is. This green strip is going to be covering, covering where the ribbon is. So the ribbon's going to be under there, and the screen strip is going to be covering it. So this is the tape I used. It's just something I got from Joann's. I can't find. It's 7 eighths of an inch um, wide. It doesn't have a color. It's not quite gold, so it's not that bright gold so I like it it's more of a gold I don't know I don't know what color we'd call this but I like this color I like to cut my ribbon at least 15 inches long from the edge here and then just bring in a cup a few inches in inside the front album cover I glue it down with beacons just because I think it's it's a really good a strong adhesive and then I tack it down with some score tape now this piece here this first piece measures basically three inches long so this was cut three inches long and then we're going to have our ribbon here, and it all depends on your ribbon. Wherever you place the ribbon, because this green piece has to cover that ribbon. If you you can't have it, so it's the the black. This is showing through. You, so you have to cover this with the ribbon. So be mindful of that when you're getting this um, set up. So mine's going to be like that. And then I will cut this bottom piece. Well, that's not the right one. I will cut this bottom piece here to fit down here. So I'm going to attach this 
I'm not going to be attaching this yet because if I build a pocket, I want to slide this into the pocket, I think. But for now, I'm going to attach this. And this, I didn't tell you the measurements. This one, I think, is it's one and a half inches wide. And the width is exactly the same, of course, as this. And make sure you ink up all your edges. So I wanted to show you what the end result of the inside um, album cover would look like. So we did our color blocking. We added our ribbon, put this green piece over the ribbon, and I did add a pocket. This is a two and a half deep pocket this green green this gold stripe up here from the patterns and solids the gold um, is a half an inch and i did add some wink Stella to it and i'll show you that in a little bit and i added this black with the snowflake paper after i put in my pocket the pocket is covering the entire length of this page and then i slipped in this black and gold paper into the pocket. And like I do all my pockets, remember I always add the scotch tape at the bottom of the, this inside half inch lip inside the pocket just to prevent anything that's going into the pocket getting hit, hitting up against that lip. And I think that's it. I just wanted to show you what the, adding the Wink Stella. let me show you, get rid of this and show you this. If you have Wink Stella and you just rub it on there, you will get this glittery gold look to it. So getting Wink Stella really helps. It just makes this whole thing shine. And of course I had to add my little cut apart from the eight by eight and cut out my little snowman peeking out and of course added this little image from I think it's the 12 by 12 could be the 8 by 8 but I think it's the 12 by 12 so I have this little deer peeking out from behind the pocket now the 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 back um, inside cover is going to be built basically exactly like this with the ribbon don't forget your ribbon on the back side and these the black and gold the green stripe but there will be no pocket there's going to be no pocket because remember i left it just for the family five by seven but you can do whatever you want with the the back inside cover it's basically built just like this without the pocket